hello friends welcome back to god tonight in today's video we will see how to create ssrx report in asp.net mvc so what we have here is we have one asp.net mvc web application and we are trying to add our dlc report to this application so for adding a dlc report basically you have to go to project and add a new item here you have to search for report and you will see this report option here which will provide you a rdlc file but if you don't see this option in your visual studio because sometimes it doesn't come by default and then what you have to do is you have to go to extensions and manage extension and then you have to search for rdlc and there you have to install this extension microsoft rdlc report designer 2022 okay so you have to select and install the extensions before that you have to close the visual studio and then it will install okay so after the installation when you will open the project again then you will be able to see the report option in add new item okay now you can select the option and you can just give any name and click on add so this is how a new rdlc report looks like it is blank and on the left you will be able to see data set and data source which will be able which will be used to provide the data to rdlc report now these just provide the structure these doesn't provide the data so you have to basically write code on the controller for providing the data to these data set and data source okay so first step is always to add a data source here if you want it to run from database then we have to add the data source so you will go to project and add new item and here you will create a data set you will take a data set and click on add now you will click on right click on that and add and table adapter so it will ask you a connection string which you have to use for the table so we will just use the SQL statement here So we are just adding the whole table into the query builder. Uh, so we have to remove this one. Now you can select all columns. okay now you will just click on ok and next and next and finish so it will create you a table over here and now this is the data set you can see here we have created okay now we will just select our report and in the data set option we will just add and select data set 2 which will show you the properties that you have just added there and you will click on ok okay so you can see all the properties which are available in data set so now you can right click on the screen and click on insert and table okay so this will provide you a table now you have to drag the columns over there okay so you can drag it like this 
okay so i have dragged three columns over there just to check if that was fine okay so this is how you can design you can add many things from these options over here so you can try out those and if you face any issue then you, you can comment on the video so after you have done this part now what we have to do is we have to use the report so uh, i have this report created already over there and we have some code for that also okay now we are creating one new action over here and this is for repute to report viewer so rtlc report is just a file you have to actually access that and return to view in order to show that on the screen okay so what we are doing here is we are trying to access the report viewer so after that we are trying to get the data from database and we are passing the data uh, to the report viewer okay so in the report viewer report path you have to specify which report file you want to show okay now this is the data source that we are adding okay so now this is the data set name okay so in your case it will be data set 2 or whatever you have created okay so because this is already created so in my case it was my data set dot uh, xlt so that was the one so we have written my data set over here now we are returning the report viewer in the view bag and the view bag we are using on the view okay so i will show you the view over here so this is the view we have so here you can see we have used html dot report viewer and this is the view bag we have over here okay so this is what you have to do for doing the report now we will just try to run the application uh, before that i will just show that uh, the table that i have used in that case was uh, having two records over here so our report must show two records So about the source code, I will provide you a link from where you can download the code. Okay, so you can download it from there. okay so you can see our page has loaded it is still loading the report okay so it can take some time to load the report okay so this is the report that uh, uh, i have created earlier okay so you can see the two records that are available in the data set okay in the database so here you will see the option to export as pdf or word or excel that is provided by uh, rtlc report so uh, this is just uh, how you can use rtlc report in sp.net mvc and for the source code what you can do is you can uh, simply go to codetonight.com that is our official website and there you can find the source code okay so you can go and find create and display SSRS report in ASP dot and MVC and uh, you can open up that blog and uh, here you will see all the steps uh, 
in a written format so if you want to follow those you can go with that if you want the video then you can watch this completely and here you will see the download attachment button over here so you can click on that and then you will be able to download the uh, code that we have used uh, for this okay so you will see all the steps and uh, you will see all the code over here so if you don't want to copy everything from here then you can simply just download the source code from this download button okay so if you have any issue you can comment on the video and thanks for watching guys